Hello Capricorn, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is thinking about you, what you are thinking about this person, and what is going on between you. What are the energies between you at this time? So let's jump right in for Capricorn. Messages as guidance for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? regarding love, regarding this connection. The person that Capricorn is thinking about or connecting with at this time, Spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this connection? Let's start with what's going on between you and this person. Spirit, what's going on between Capricorn and this other person? What are the energies between Capricorn and this other person? Wow, the Four of Wands. So I feel like there's a lot of potential here. And the Four of Wands could also be a card about rites of passage. Like you're ready for that next step, that next level where you reach your happiness, your happy home, your happy life. You begin something very stable. This could be somebody that you meet and you instantly think about... Um, marriage or stability or you think about having a happy home with them some of you could be even moving in together or thinking about buying a home what's going on between capricorn and this other person what are the energies between capricorn and this other person's spirit king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy there you could be dealing with a fire sign um the king of wands is very bold um natural leaders what they see they get a lot of attraction charisma chemistry with the king of wands um i feel like this is someone where there's a lot of interest um excitement someone that you meet and i feel like this is a, a connection with someone where there is a strong attraction whoever this is tell me more spirit can i get one more about the mutual energies between Capricorn and this other person. Judgment. Wow. Okay. Judgment and then the Page of Wands. So judgment is about looking back at the past. It's about awakenings, resurrections, revivals, and being ready for that next cycle. Because right after judgment comes the world. And with Page of Wands, you know, I'm almost getting like someone's making this happen. So it could be that someone is taking the initiative here to revive something. Someone could be receiving some sort of awakening or lesson they're learning and they want to do something about it. They want, you know, there's action tied to it. Let's see. Tell me about this judgment card. Spirit, why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Wow, Ten of Swords. And then the sun. I feel like someone learned a lesson from an old cycle. And it could have been an ending that happened in their life. An ending that happened with you. Someone is learning a lesson about the past. But I'm not getting breakup 100%. It's almost like for some of you, this is someone that things didn't work out. Like, it, like in their life, their last cycle things just like blew up it was not a successful uh cycle maybe they just had a lesson to learn others of you this could be somebody that you had an ending with a separation with and they're having realizations about that because the sun is here so i think clarity let's get some energy oracles out here spirit tell me more about the energies between capricorn and this other person Tell me about the energies, please, between Capricorn and this other person. What do we need to know about the energies between Capricorn and this other person? Love letter. A special message is on its way. Okay, someone has something to say. A message to deliver. A confession. Moving forward. Movements, ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. 
feel like someone wants to move forward with you with that four of wands what else do we need to know what else do we need to know oh my gosh i got way too many i only wanted one <laughs> falling leaves time changes everything and then we have divine timing right after that the timing here could be very important could be divine timing could be that things are happening in the right time we got secret admirer and second chances so it could be that this judgment card is a second chance and i'm starting to think that it wouldn't be a capricorn reading without that <laughs> at least on my channel because it just keeps coming up a lot of you there's someone from your past that is still in your energy it just keeps coming up but for some of you i feel like this is like someone being guided to you and maybe you're just having a second opportunity in love period we'll see i'm going to be looking at your energies separately here but feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you let's start with you capricorn spirit what can you tell me about capricorn's energy what can you tell me about capricorn's energy wow the lovers gemini energy there partnerships soulmates we got the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck so i feel like you're looking for your soulmate you might think this person is your soulmate capricorn there's something about this person this king of wands it's like it draws you in this is mutual attraction i want to make that clear this is not an ex like if you're dealing with an ex that you would never want to be with i don't think this is your reading i feel like this is someone that you would want to have this connection with Tell me more, what is Capricorn's energy? Capricorn's energy spirit. When it comes to this person, this connection. The King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So this is about communicating very clearly, no BS, just talking straight. <laughs> I feel like that's why we have love letter here. I think that someone wants to talk to you about a partnership and i feel like you want to talk about it as well let's see what's this king of swords about why is the king of swords here why is the king of swords here spirit this one wow the nine of cups wishes granted your emotional fulfillment satisfaction and then wow the wheel of fortune you know, I feel like some of you are waiting for this message. Maybe it just hasn't been the right time, but when it comes, it's like the right time because there's something here with timing. And also there's something here about moving forward. Secret admirer is telling me that you are secretly keeping tabs on each other. I'm getting mutual energy here and mutual energy here from moving forward. Now, second chances could be that, you know, this is someone from the past that wants a second chance with you. But I'm not getting that for all of you. I'm also getting like, this is an opportunity for you. Maybe it didn't work out with other people because it was supposed to work out with this person. And it could have been that you had an ending with this person in the past and they are an ex, that's fine. But I also pick up that this person that you're dealing with, they've learned the lessons in their last cycle. So they're ready for something more with you. It's like you're meeting at the right time. get some energies out here for you spirit tell me more about capricorn's energy towards this person okay please wait for me just a little bit longer you will always be in my heart living in denial interesting okay what's at the bottom of the deck burdens and obligations some of you, I don't know, living in denial, I'm not getting that it has to be them. Maybe you never wanted this person to be the one. Like maybe this is, you never thought this was your, your person, but I think it is. I, mean, I don't know where to put this. I'm running out of room. <laughs> I feel like this person talking to you, you're happy about that. Like you're like, yes, that's what I want. I wanted this person to talk to me or I wanted to have this conversation. 
This could also be someone that only saw you as a friend for like the longest time, but then they realized, no, Capricorn is supposed to be my person. They were like in denial of their feelings for you. Um, but I feel like you and this person might already have some of some sort of history. Like maybe you were friends, coworkers, something like that. I was only supposed to get one of those so I could have room, but we're going to keep it moving. Tell me more about Capricorn. Tell me more about Capricorn. What do we need to know about Capricorn's feelings, thoughts, feelings, energies? Tall tale, fabrication, exaggeration, unreliable. What? And mountain, obstacles, difficulty, challenges at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. I feel like Capricorn, there's a couple ways I could take this. Um, this could be something that you just don't, I feel like someone was lying to themselves. Like someone was telling themselves a story that wasn't true. Oh, no, that's not the type of person I'm supposed to be with. Oh, no, like, we don't have that kind of connection. Or, oh, no, we're just friends. We have a bond, but it's just friends. Or, oh, no, we're just friends with benefits. This was not meant to be anything serious. Something like that. I feel like there's an obstacle here that's going to be different for all of you. But... I don't think this obstacle changes how you feel about this person. I think that's very important to point out because I feel like in your mind, this is someone very special and there's a mutual attraction here. Let's look at this person. And remember, you could flip the energies if they resonate more. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What do we need to know about Capricorn's person? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Capricorn? The sun. We need to know. And the higher fonts. Wow, Taurus energy there. We got Leo at the bottom of the deck with strength. A lot, all this major arcana. Tell me about the higher font, please. Ah. Tell me about the higher font, please. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this higher font energy? The Six of Swords, and then the Fool? What is happening? I did not see that coming. <laughs> I feel like for a lot of you, this person is becoming free of an obligation. Could be a marriage, could be a job offer, job contract. I'm getting like military as well. Um, some sort of official posting, official duty. It's like they're free, they're leaving that behind. Yes, some some of you are possibly dealing with someone married that's getting divorced as well with justice behind that. I did not see that. And that could be what this Ten of Swords is about. If this is someone that has a third party, they could be ending that third party situation in order to move forward. Maybe they told you for some time that they were leaving this situation. Maybe it took them longer than they promised or longer than you expected. But I feel like this person is going after their own happiness here. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know about this person? Okay, if I could keep my cards in my hand, that'd be great. Once upon a dream, I know you, that gleam in your eyes is so familiar a gleam. Past lovers, soulmates coming together. You both want this, I'm telling you. You both feel a connection. Sleeping curse is at the bottom of the deck. In action, silence, dormancy. There was no action from this person for some time. And then after that, I have something there. There may be something there that wasn't there before. New love, realization, second chances. Exactly. It's like there was nothing happening with you and this person. And so I feel like both of you were like, eh, that's not meant to happen. Or that wasn't supposed to be more than what it was. Um, we were just friends. We were just messing around or we were never that serious. It was some, something like that. What is in this person's heart space? What is in this person's heart space? 
when it comes to Capricorn or this connection. Lessons learned, exactly. Lessons learned. Maybe wherever they were, they learned something important. What else? Can I get one more, please? Move these over. I have a little bit of room here. Tell me more about this person and how they're thinking, feeling when it comes to Capricorn. I dream of a future with you. Yes, and look, there's some rings there. So this could be a long-term commitment with you. Bottom of the deck, I must confess that I am in love with you. So yes, I'm telling you, the feelings are there. The feelings are mutual. But I'm also like picking up that it's like there's something else here that I can't like pinpoint. It could be that there's an interference here, but I feel like you and this person have a complex history. Like it, it, this is not a, it's complicated. Okay, we have great fortune. A message of concern. Okay. This is reminding me of the Wheel of Fortune, divine timing, but great fortune is also about fortunate things that take place, but blessings, right? Opportunities. And the message of concern. So I think that there, there's something here that you're getting that you really like, but that's it's not going to be so simple. It's kind of what I'm getting here. And I'm going to have to see what's why that is in the extended because there's obviously I'm, I just don't have time to like go into it. But I'm going to like take my time in the extended to look at what's challenging or blocking this connection from moving forward. I think it's this whatever this person's leaving behind. I really do because right now I don't see action. And this king of wands normally would take action. What I see is a possible message. Hopefully Capricorn, this reading resonated for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.